Hey guys, Gadget Guru HD here, and today I'm just gonna show you one of my favorite ROMs that I have found for the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. It's a Jelly Bean ROM, and it's an unofficial AOKP ROM. I found it's one of the most stable ones out there. You can compare it to Zine on HD, Bugless Beast, all that stuff. But I found that this one is one of the best. So what you're gonna want to do here is just so you can figure out where it is is go to roots wiki dot com you can see it right there you just wanna go, go in hit forums scroll down and find the galaxy nexus Verizon Galaxy Nexus development and you're gonna want to look over here there it is pure AOKP on official night lease now just to give the whoever made this credit I'm not exactly sure how you say that but credits to that guy cuz whoops wrong guy <laughs> whoops dizzy thermal credits to him for making this awesome ROM and they just actually updated it today a huge pretty big update today so you're gonna wanna make sure you get the latest nightly or milestone if they do end up having them so you're just gonna wanna click here and find the ROM so you got the ROM right here you're going to just want to sign in with Google if you don't have a Google Drive account. You're just going to sign in with Google and then that, that'll take care of it. You also want to make sure you have the G apps and there are also kernels right here for whatever you want to, whichever one you want to use. I like Franco, but it's all personal preference. So you're going to want to make sure that you do have a backup. Just want to show you guys and make sure you have a backup because I found right now that ROM managers um, hasn't been so stable. So if you're an inexperienced root or flasher ROM flashing user, you're gonna want to make sure you have a backup. So head on into ROM manager and just hit backup your current ROM because I'd hate to be responsible for you bricking your Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you around this awesome ROM. So you can see right here, they do have the uh, slider right here with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, rotate, swagger, vibrate, sync, all that stuff. And you can see they do have the Jelly Bean uh, clock time and date hit settings right here and you can go into ROM control and they have actually a lot of stuff considering Jelly Bean is this new so you can go into battery I like to have my battery icon in the notifications and uh, uh, where is it yep I like to put the clock in the middle. You can do all that stuff. You can center it, change it, make sure the day of the week is there. Change the performance, all that stuff. If you want to make the navigation bar blue, I don't know why people like that, but some do. That's also pretty cool Oops. there you go it's blue you cannot uh, change the navigation bar width all that stuff transparency
We got Google Now, Long Hold Home. Oops. Go through all this stuff. What you can do is say, Google. Hold on a second, let me move a little closer. Google. See that? What should I say? I should say, I'll say, will the world end in 2012? See, there you go. Got all that stuff. I'll show you guys just how buttery smooth this is. What time is it? The time is 10.55 p.m. See all that stuff. Overall, I've actually, I've been using stock for a while, just seeing stock 4.0.4, and I was using AOKP the official uh, Milestone 6 uh, for, a, for a while, actually. And then a week later, I decided to go back to stock just to see what it was like again. And the battery life was horrible. I'll just leave it at that. And switching between 3G, 4G, and turning off my data to keep somewhat secure good battery life was a pain because it'd take forever just to go from uh, 3G to 4G, turning it off, turning it on. But using this, it's way faster. See all that stuff? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to, uh, where is? I just flashed it over again just to uh, take all my own stuff off of it. Go to toggles and I'm going to add uh, add data and LTE. Now I don't have LTE at my house but just to show you guys I'll turn LTE and data off. Turns it off data already went off all uh, data is already back on it's a very smooth transition compared to what it was with stock android very quick and easy now, I know I notice a significant difference in battery life. I'd suggest that you just try this ROM out. It's pretty awesome. I've used all the other ones, pretty much every one out there. But again, you're going to want to make sure you're careful. Make sure you have a backup um, in ROM Manager. If you get stuck in a boot loop, then if you're having issues, just uh, post something in the comments. I'll try my best to help. Um, I think that's it. Gadget Guru HD over and out.